Um, okay, so welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, Hakeson is eight, which I think is really cool. This is our eighth year. Um, I'd also like to have a really big shout out to Mary Gardner, who of course started it and who is probably having a baby as we speak. Um, so, um, and I also want to acknowledge that um, Bianca and Mary for, for helping out in the lead up to this. I'm the one standing up here yelling at you all, but those guys have done a huge amount of the footwork. So thank you very much. <laughs> Um, we have come a long way. My picture hasn't loaded. Oh no, we have come a long way. That's a very winding road, that picture. Uh, we've come a very long way in eight years, I believe. I think um, the landscape of geek feminism has changed in eight years. I think the landscape of geek feminism at LCA has changed. We now seem to relatively consistently hit around 20 to 30% female attendance, which is fabulous. However, I don't think we're dead yet. Um, there, there has been talk, you know, little whispers over the last few years, is, is Hexen really necessary anymore? Um, I personally believe it is, that's not just because I tend to run it. <laughs> um, I, I think Hexen is important and I think, um, so I was an organiser for LCA last year and one thing that that helped me do is to refocus on what LCA is about and also what the mini comps are about. I hadn't thought about it in such an abstract way until last year, but um, mini comps are ideally supposed to be an incubator. It's all about incubating new talent. It's incubating new, uh, new volunteers, new LCA helpers, new LCA attendees, new LCA speakers and that kind of stuff. And so as a result, when I sat down to actually do the, the, the Hakeson proposal in the first place, I could have done like I've done every other year, which is take last year's proposal and slightly update it a little bit, or I could I'd try and, and rejig it a little. So I, I must have been feeling in a particularly flippant mood at the time I did it, but I decided I was, I was going to mix things up. I was going to, as I put it, put the emphasis on fun. I'm sick to death of being, <laughs> you know, the, the, the hairy-legged, uh, you know, humorless feminist. Uh, so, so, you know, let, let's try and, and show them. We do, we do actually have a bit of fun around here, so it's kind of cool. I did want to mention for new... Is there anyone here who hasn't been to Hakeson before? couple of you. Okay. Wanted to mention the unicorn thing. Uh, there will be a lot of unicorn references. We obviously do have, I don't know, we need to give him a name. What's the unicorn's name? <laughs> we, do, we do have our, our mascot here. Um, the thing with unicorns is um, basically there's an idea that a, a woman in tech is, uh, spotting a woman in tech is similar to spotting a unicorn in the wild. They're, they're highly remarkable. And um, there is a thing called the unicorn law, which is, oh, that's really hard to read. We need to change the lights, I think. It says, if you're a woman in open source, you'll eventually give a talk about being a woman in open source. And that was coined by Emma Jane Hogben and Gabrielle Roth a few years ago. Um, and it does mean that we end up sort of, we, we talk about Hakes and having unicorn talks, which is women in open source talking about being women in open source. And Hakes is a very unicorny type thing, basically, as a, as a result of the, the unicorn law. Um, so, we have a schedule. I wanted to very briefly run through that and do a little bit of housekeeping and just talk. Um, if you're Hakes and Regular, you'll notice that things are a little bit different this year, mostly because I wanted to try and, while, uni while unicorn talks are fun, I wanted, I wanted to try and reduce that and make sure that we're focusing on that incubator side of things and also just having a little bit more fun. Uh, so, this is off the Hakes and website. Um, the first session, it's one we're in, obviously, we're doing a welcome right now, and then we're going to be doing a little thing I like to call, are you a smart as a geek feminist? Um, which hopefully is fun geek feminist trivia. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Uh, we will also then have a prize session where someone will win Charlie over here. Um, the middle session is our, is our unicorn track. Uh, so we have several people. We have, um, we're very, very lucky to have Anita and Lara and Asha talking about some of the, the current projects going on with, with women in tech and giving us a bit of an update. After afternoon tea, we've got our, our incubator session. So this is a speaking workshop. It's about trying to make sure that the people who haven't spoken in the past can hopefully have a chance to sit in the audience, ask some questions of people who have done a lot of speaking, hopefully get the hints and tips. And uh, we've, got, we've got Karen, Karen Sandler, um, Elizabeth and Alice all talking about some of their experiences as speakers. So let the shenanigans begin. Um, the way I wanted to run this, so if I... My mouse has disappeared. You will notice this has all been made in Keynote. I apologise. Uh, so what we might do is actually turn the recording off uh, only because I'm going to make an absolute idiot of myself and there's enough images and video of me making an idiot of myself on the internet already.